Alrighty, hello everyone. <laughs> We're gonna have a fun day today. Oh, I took the wrong route. We've got the, the kayaks and canoes out and we're gonna be doing some island hopping with Agate Angler and Katie did. Oh yeah, gonna be a good day. <laughs> Look who we've got. Katie did. Agate Angler. Hey. Jim. Oh, hi there. Hi. <laughs> Kava. And most importantly, Kava. Come on, Kava, get in it. <laughs> who will probably out hunt all of us. You can see way up there we've got Kate floating. I'm just kind of lazily floating right now. I stopped for a second so I could record. And then behind us, we've got Agate Angler. <laughs> so it's at this point in the video where you're gonna hear my tone change completely. And if you've seen Kate's video, you will likely know why <laughs> the, the raft I was on capsized. And I was, thrown out, I made getting my camera priority number one, which again, I, I think most people would in that situation. <laughs> but by the time I grabbed my camera and turned around, the river had already taken the boat quite a ways downstream from me. I sprinted after it and swam after it, but never did catch up to it. And yeah, I was hoping that at the very least I was going to get some cool GoPro footage out of it to show you all. but. <laughs> to fit with the rest of the day, the file corrupted. So I cannot show you that. So I guess let's just get back into the video. <laughs> hey everybody. <laughs> so disaster just struck, as you saw. I think this camera should have cap captured it. Well, my phone submerged. My camera and the entire case submerged. Camera won't turn on, hoping it's okay. This one shorted out because it wasn't in its waterproof case. So the one camera I'm left with today is the one that is probably the worst quality out of all of them. Kate has graciously let me use her phone to record because my camera will not turn on. Oh, that sucks so bad. And as though the river was telling me to cheer up, I found this beautiful agate the moment I got back to bank. Oh my gosh, I am so out of breath. Alright, well we're going to sit and recover for a second and then we'll start rock hounding again. You can see Kava out there. Alright, well, I've got my stuff out in a dry spot. Hopefully it will dry off and turn on and be good. <laughs> On some agonized wood though. So, you know, there's that. Oh, and a itty bitty baby agate. Alright. Is this what I think it is? Oh, it is. Just some agonized wood. Oh, wow, it's got some really nice end grain on it. Sweet. Here is another very nice carving rock. Sweet. That is beautiful. Looks like seams of agate inside of jasper. Wow, that's really pretty. <sighs> Kava is just the biggest sweetheart. She keeps coming back to see if I'm doing okay. I was sitting down a second ago and she just climbed into my lap. Yeah, you are just such a good girl, aren't you, honey? Yeah, you're so cool. I mean, backpacks can be replaced hammers can be replaced. I am very worried about my camera, but I think uh, phone, I, honestly, I need a new phone anyway, so that would be, I would be upset about all the stuff that I would lose off of my phone, but uh, I mean, it could have been worse, depending on where we were on the Yellowstone, it could have been much worse. Luckily, the, the Yellowstone is extremely shallow over here, so a tumble does not lead to a dangerous, high rapid kind of situation over here. It's just, I mean, you could literally, if you fall out, you can literally stand back up. It's not like knee deep, but, <sighs> you know, I guess if worse comes to worse, I can use this fridge to get back across. Check out this beautiful agate. Got some 
fortification banding and stuff. Nice quartz pocket on the end. Oh, that is a beauty. And as always, I will show you everything all cleaned up once we get back to the shop. Oh, this is just awesome. There's some really good stuff over here. <sighs> oh yeah, again, I have to get this wet so you can actually see it, but this Jasper is so cool. It's got reds and greens and clear pockets. Oh, so pretty. And it's big, so I'm carrying it. Ooh, that is a beautiful little agate. Wow. It's biting so bad. <laughs> it's just a little one, but that banding is gorgeous. Oh, yes, it's awesome. I think the Yellowstone is feeling pity on me for the trauma that I faced. It's all fine, all okay. As long as my camera turns back on. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at that. It's a piece of jasperized wood. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. <laughs> that is awesome. Check out the vans on this chart. That is awesome. I gotta give a huge shout out to Kate for letting me use her phone to record. Without this, my video would have ended at the spill. So, <laughs> I greatly appreciate that. Oh, hey. Do you see it? Do you see it? Right here. Oh, okay, and I launch it. Oh, that's a pretty little one. Very pretty little thing. There's an agate angler. There's a Kate way up there. And I'm lagging behind. I need to hurry up. Stop being distracted by rocks. <laughs> As if that's even possible. Alright, I think I just found something pretty cool. Whoa! That is awesome! Wow! Okay, I'm gonna get this wet and show you all. I think this is really cool. It's agonized! Oh my goodness! So the report is that my camera is dead. It will not turn back on. I lost the raft. Could not catch up to it. Had my backpack on it. So I lost... And there wasn't much in there. It was just my hammer and a bottle of water and some bug spray. So not too horrible, but my camera and lenses no longer work and the water damaged just the charging port on my phone so this is actually a new phone right here and yeah all in all not fun <laughs> the situation not fun day was still awesome and if i was with anyone else in the world it probably would not have been quite as awesome as it was if i was not out there with alex and kate i probably would not have been able to come back and have fun with the rest of that day. Those are just two of the best people you'll ever meet, and if you ever get the opportunity to meet them, jump on them, because they are, they're in a whole different class. They are amazing people, and I feel very fortunate to call both of them my friends. But we did still get into some really good stuff, so let's go look at that right now. You guys, I'm so sorry. I feel like I kind of dropped the ball with this collab. I was using Kate's phone, and apparently I wasn't recording when I thought I was, so like half of my clips <laughs> are not, yeah, don't have them, so I feel like I am doing them a disservice because I don't have very much footage that actually shows them, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, we did get some good stuff. Again, I know I'm missing some footage because I thought I recorded half of these, but apparently not. But yeah, there's some really, really nice stuff in here. Either way, it was still a, a good day for rock hunting and a great day out with friends, but yeah even with the, the lousiness that happened. So let's get some close-ups on some of these. Again, I'm sorry if this is kind of shaky. <laughs> I've never recorded with a phone before, so this is all new to me. So here is one beautiful piece of jasperized wood. Absolutely beautiful. This is some of the coolest chert I have ever seen, this banded chert. It is just so pretty. Look at that tight banding. 
is just awesome. So this, I'm sure most people would just walk right over it. It's not really, as far as rock hunting goes, it's not really anything special. The reason I keep these is because this is just a prime carving rock. This is going to make an awesome carving, and it's going to be so cool. This is just a really interesting jasper agate. You can see there's that perfectly clear agate in there. And you get it wet, and you can see all that reddish orange jasper lining it. Nice botryoidal texture. This one was probably my nicest find of the day. Look at that jasper. Pockets of clear, mainly green, some red in there, some yellow and orange. That is an incredible jasper. <laughs> of course, I don't have my macro lens to show you, but yeah, my phone will have to do. So pretty. And then as far as agates, we had this one, which again, I say it was the river accepting my sacrifice because the moment I got back to the bank, found this beautiful agate. My phone is not showing it very well, but there's actually some really nice water line in there. Uh, then there's this one, which this one's weird. It's definitely a water line as well, but it must have broken along one of the, the water line faces because this is already like half polished. It's so perfectly smooth and got a really nice shine on it actually. Just beautiful. Wonderful dendrites. That moss is just great. Awesome piece. And then this one right here is so pretty. Look at it. Come on phone, work with me. Yeah, I've had this phone for like 24 hours, so I'm still definitely getting used to it. actually gonna leave the video here at the end of the day but <laughs> this is just such a good testament to how rock hounds are a different kind of person you know their their rock hounding community is one of the best on the planet so after all of this happened and I replaced my phone I actually got an amazing pick-me-up and I would love to show you all right now I am so excited to open this up this is from a YouTube channel called Gravel Bar Hopper. If you have not checked out his channel, definitely go check it out because he finds some of the coolest agates I've ever seen. They are just incredible. And I actually have not seen what he is what he sent me. So I will be seeing these for the first time with you. Let me get this open. Alright, let's. You know what? This might be too hard to do one-handed. You know what? I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, you guys. These things are just incredible. Let's see if my camera will actually, come on, zoom in. <laughs> Brand new phone, so I'm still getting used to how to record with it, but oh my goodness. The banding in there, oh where was it, this one, has such a pretty crystal pocket and amazing banding. Oh, they're so pretty. I love the red in this one. Oh my gosh. So much banding. Just crazy. This one. I love this one so much. Look at that crystal pocket. <laughs> oh man. This one has some of the nicest banding I've ever seen on an agate. Just look at that. That is just crazy cool. 
I know Alex from uh, Agate Angler got some of the other, I know his last video, he opened them up. And he, he so hit it right on the head with, I just can't even imagine finding something like this. I mean, I found a very small handful of Fairburn agates, which look actually kind of similar to these, but the ones I found were definitely not anything to write home about. So these are some of the prettiest agates. Plus, I mean, if you have, if you guys have seen my Bear Canyon videos, you know how I feel about fortification agates. Oh my goodness. These are incredible. Oh man. <laughs> wow. I'm trying to make sure I don't leave any out. Yeah, look at that crystal pocket. Oh, that is so cool. Dude, Gravel Bar Hopper, you are the best. Thank you so much for this. I'm actually going to be putting this in the video with Kate and Alex so you can see that I did get a pick me up later the week. <laughs> That was pretty rough, but, oh man, this was a pick-me-up that I desperately needed right now. These are incredible. Just stunning. Look at the pocket on this one. That is so cool. I will have a link in the description and right there, right now, to Gravel Bar Hopper's channel you got to go check it out. He finds some of the coolest agates. Like, these things are just amazing. Just look at it. <laughs> I am just in awe right now. Dude, thank you so much. I will be returning the favor for sure. Oh, wow. Those are just incredible. So, yeah, again... My point at the end of all of this is just that rockhounds are the best people on their, this planet, and I will fight anyone who disagrees with me. <laughs> they are amazing people who take care of each other, and it's amazing to, yeah, again. Any other, if I was out there with anyone else, that day probably would not have turned around the way it did. But, yeah, I highly, 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 highly recommend any one of you that has not already go check out Katie Did's channel. I'll leave, have a link to that in the description. Check out Agate Angler. I'll have a link to him in the description. And go check out and subscribe to Gravel Bar Hopper. His channel is fantastic, and he finds some of the coolest agates that this country has to offer. They're just insane. Wow, they're awesome. <laughs> they're so cool. But anyway, uh, I think that's going to do it for this one. <laughs> maybe if you feel pity on me, maybe I've earned a, <laughs> a pity like and subscribe. Uh, one thing I never ask on this channel. One thing I never ask for on this channel is a little financial assistance, which I am definitely going to need to replace my camera. And I already replaced the phone, but the camera is kind of priority number one. And I'm not asking for any direct money. Literally, my only request is on my next videos for a while, please, please, please don't skip ads. That ad revenue should help pay for the camera. And a month or two should cover the money that it's going to cost to get set camera, but that ad revenue helps immensely. So please don't skip ads. <laughs> it, it'll be a huge favor for me. But yeah, anyway, I think that's going to do it for this one. Hope you all enjoyed. Go check out those three channels. They're amazing. That was horrible grammar, but oh well. <laughs> I'll have another one out very, very soon. And yeah, stay safe, everybody.